Hello everyone, and I'm continuing my research with uh, direct drive motors on this Sony TCK777. And I found a couple issues so far. And first of all, I decided to go over full procedure of adjustments. And I was able like to adjust the grill motor to the specs, but with capstan motor, following instructions, to set the levels between 3.6.4.4 volts in the peak to peak mode as it was not possible. The minimum was about six, six and a half volts. And when I started to look more, I found that this uh, capstan uh, has been sitting too far from the coils, right? So as you may see, it's currently running. I had to adjust it properly, so have about one millimeter between coils and capstan and it, before it was like two millimeters and right away after that peak to peak went to 4.4 volts like, uh, and I was able to adjust it easily see second channel 4.3 volts I, that's pretty fine and the motor starts and stops easily you see so power off now power on and it starts right away uh, and if you remember first time when I assembled it, it was not starting all the time. So adjustments are there in the hole. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. So there is a hole similar to this one, right? And there is a screw where you adjust the distance between the coils and the capstan magnets. Okay. Main point, have enough space so it would not uh, touch the coils, it would not green them. At the same time, it should not be too far, otherwise it will require much more power to be applied to the coils to rotate them. Next, and that was the reason why there was lots of heat generated by these transistors. And like I was just feeling heat going up here, it was pretty hot. And now I can like see, I can hold my fingers it's about 40 degrees now, maybe 45, all right? Uh, and real motor, where I started. Um, when deck was cold, it was running right away, all right? When deck worked for some time, this motor in playback mode was, or at some spot, some position was stopping and didn't start again unless you rotate it a little bit and then it starts or you, unless you use fast forward on rewind so it will change position now let's see no it didn't help it, it didn't start now it starts all right so there is some additional issue you see now it didn't start again it starts every time in fast forward and rewind as you see in playback it starts mostly then it gets here in the position when it doesn't start and at this moment I believe the only root cause can be a poor hole sensor because everything else I check it and it works and all modes and all voltages frequency for this motor is set properly I think everything is set, you know, and now there is no heat. And before heat was going so poorly, like I just like was feeling it out from here. All right, moving on. So next, remove this motor again, replace whole sensors and see if it will help. Come on, way too much work with this deck. Even if it sounds perfectly well, but uh, it was not treated well before, you know. It's the first time when I had to do any adjustment on this board, really. All right, see you soon. Hey guys, and here I opened the motor, so I will be replacing these two hole sensors. Uh, with these tiny replacements I have get before for the a revox deck when I was trying to see uh, and eliminate one well flutter issues. So let's see how it will perform. The point is like uh, I need to 
put it in the proper direction so rotation will be not in the opposite side all right so see you soon and here guys i'm replacing the sensors and now like deck starts no oh <laughs> you see it just did not it was starting all the time don't start so that's not the sensors okay but with these sensors like they are much more sensitive and rotation speed even like if I reduce in it it's not in the range where I can adjust so that's how quickly it rotates all right so now we know that's not the sensors that's bring like more questions like what can be faulty I will look into schematic more, maybe some capacitors, maybe something else, but at least we know that it's not whole sensors. Good. Let me install the old sensors back and let's continue our research. I'm already getting puzzled. I spent way too much with time with this deck and it still don't work properly. It worked, but not properly. Sometimes this motor just don't want to, to start and I don't understand why. Technically it should, right? What I observed in the schematic um, that uh, power gets to the whole sensors like with the one second delay. So see the circuit here? And it supply power to the whole sensors and adjusting the amplitude. It will adjust amplitude of the signal which sensor sends and will increase amplitude of the wave which goes to the transistors and to the coils. So it will change amplitude by the applying different voltage to the whole sensors. All right. So I believe you should somewhere in this circuit. Why why not it start properly? I have no idea. Because sensors work and everything else depends from the sensors. As soon as sensor shows some like voltage, differential amplifier, we will amplify and make this wave for transistors and the coils. That's a pretty simple schematic here. I don't see any capacitors which may cause the issue because that resistor says goes in parallel. 3.3 .3 probably may replace these two guys. Uh, what else? And technically no more parts here to replace. Okay, let's see if these two capacitors may be a root cause. See you soon. Well guys, I'm continuing my research. What I did. I measured the signal from whole sensors and found that it was uneven and like uh, there is a pump for IS702 and which two two pumps in one and one shoulder was producing like 8.2 volts and other was just 5.6 volts so I replaced one resistor with the ports which installed from other side that was 736, I believe, R736, and adjusted uh, to both have the same voltage. And now the output has the same voltage and uh, the noise is gone. And here, now it's even rotate in both directions and playbacks very quietly, right? But it still don't solve the problem. Still like uh, extended test and show sometimes when you click play, real motor doesn't start, All right? So I need to investigate more what can be the root cause. So now voltage is perfect, everything is perfect. You see, playback 10 volts as on diagram. Okay, it's maybe not very even. Why? Right. Now it just stopped because I believe real motor, not real motor stop it. You see? started to 
skip. I'm not sure what else. Voltage is peak to peak 10 volts. Boom, you see? It just cut off the voltage and stopped. And there is no like, tape. It's probably after stop was pretty quick. I'm not sure what else is. The fast forward rewinds pretty well. Till the end in both directions. So it looks like that uh, in playback mode something happens. Alright. Hmm. Okay, let me see. I check it breaks, breaks being released in playback mode. So, see, till end, opposite direction again, it will do perfectly well till the end of the tape. But uh, in fast forward and uh, rewind mode, we have 18 volts. You see, peak to peak 7.4 volts. And fre frequency will be quicker, right? In playback mode, we have just 10 volts. And it's adjusted. And look, uh, I'm not sure why it's, it just stops without any reason. <laughs> All right, we'll see what else. Everything looks to be fine. Even no noise. I have no idea. Well, guys, I'm still working on this deck. And like I tried multiple things and like uh, while I was working with it, one of the transistors which works for one of the shoulders, one of the set of coils for this motor, uh, gave up. So now I have to replace transistor and start my research from the beginning. Whoa! And to, re to do it I need to remove this board. Let's see if it would be easy or not. See you soon. Hey guys, and looking into the soldering quality, I believe only this one left, which is factory, all other transistors has been replaced. So you may see soldering quality and it's not the same as the factory. All right, so let me see. Hey guys, I'm desoldered both transistors from the problem shoulder and one of them, which is supposed to be PNP, shows as a diet. Right? Other one tested well, so I will put them back, but this one I have to replace. Okay, I believe I have replacement, so it should not take long, Susan.